So in this video, I'm going to show you how to open up HTML in the browser. So normally you would have some HTML like this. And if you wanted to open up this HTML in the browser, you would have to save it as a file and then double click on the file to open up the this HTML code in your browser. Now, wouldn't it be a lot more convenient if you could just have your code right here, hit a keyboard shortcut, and then immediately the page opens up? Well, most people do this by going to Sublime Preferences Package Control, and then they go to Install Package and look for the View in Browser uh, add-on for Sublime Text. Now, the problem with installing View in Browser using Package Control directly is that you won't be able to modify certain parts of the source code as easily. So in this video, I'll show you how to install View in Browser using the source code directly, okay? So rather than the package control. So you can install view in browser from source code by going to your favorite browser, searching for view in browser, and then go to this page called adampressley.github.io slash sublime view in browser. So when you visit this page, you'll see on the left-hand side, the option to download zip file. So you download the zip file by clicking on the button and then click save. So now you have your file downloaded it and you can double click on it or actually single click on it is fine. And you can see in my downloads now, I have the zip file extracted into this folder. Okay. And if I want to view the, if I want to view the, this folder, all I have to do is drag it into sublime text. And now you can see in sublime text, it shows me the folder as well as the contents of the folder. So we're going to make some modifications to this, uh, to two files. So view in browser sublime setting, we're going to modify this file as well as one of the default files. So if you're in, if you're in OS X, then you can modify OS X. If you're on windows, modify the windows one. And if you're on Linux, you modify the Linux one. But since I'm on OS X, I will be modifying the OS X file. Okay, so let's start off with the first file, which is view in browser sublime settings. So I'm using the Brave browser. So that's why I'm going to add another line here for Brave browser. So I'm going to call the command Brave. And for applications, I will say Brave bra browser. Okay, cool. And then I'll save this file. Okay. Now I have to modify the default uh, sublime key map as well. So over here, we're uh, under Safari. I'll add a comma and make sure to add control alt B for brave. And for browser, I'll put brave like that. And that's it. Okay. So now all we have to do is to install this view in browser uh, under preferences uh, package settings. You you sh you you want the view in browser to show up here somewhere, okay? So how are we going to do this? Well, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to close all these files first. All right, I'm going to remove this from folder from project. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Sublime Preferences Browse Packages. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this folder in my downloads and I'm going to drag it into this packages folder. And this is how I install the view in browser uh, package like that. All right, I can close my downloads. So at this point, all I have to do is rename this folder to be view in browser like that. All right. So now I've renamed it. I can go back into sublime text, go to preferences, package settings, and you can see I now have view in browser installed. And if you look at the settings default, then you'll see that I have this brave inside of view in browser sublime settings. Pretty nice, huh? So um, what do we do now? Well, let's uh, go back to preferences, uh, browse packages, and I'm going to drag this view in browser back into my sublime text. 
And the reason for this is I want to see the different uh, shortcuts that I'll need. Okay, so these are the shortcuts. All right, so I'm gonna sh before we move on to the next step, I want to show you my keyboard. All right, so this is my keyboard. All right, and we're gonna try out this first command, which is Control Alt S to open up in Sublime Text. I mean, not Sublime Text to open up in Safari browser. So I'm gonna do Control Alt. S. And you can see I opened up the HTML file in uh, in Sublime Text. Sometimes it's kind of gl glitchy and it shows up more than once, but you know, if we try again, right? Control Alt S, then you'll see it opens up in Safari browser just fine. Cool. So we know this line works. Let's try the Brave browser one. All right. So Control Alt B. Okay. So Control Alt B. All right, we opened up the HTML file in Brave browser. All right, let's try out the Chrome browser. All right, so that's Control Alt C. So Control Alt C doesn't work, right? So the weird thing was that Control Alt C for some reason doesn't work, and it's only Control Alt C that doesn't work. Like if I change Control Alt C to Control Alt W and save it uh, for Chrome browser. Then I can just do Control Alt W, and it seems to open up the Chrome browser just fine. So I'm not sure what's up with the Control Alt C, but it just doesn't seem to work with this particular key combination. And now it's time to try the default browser, Control Alt V. Control Alt V, and you can see it doesn't work right now, and that's kind of problematic. So what we can just do is we can pick one of these browsers. You can do, you don't have to do a Chrome browser, but you know, I'm just going to do Chrome browser as an example, and I'm going to paste it up here in this first line. So I just added this bit of code and then I hit save. So now if I hit control Alt V, it should open up the Chrome browser, right? So control Alt V. So this opened up the HTML file in Chrome browser. Pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for this extension. I hope you enjoyed the video.